After its design, one of the most important aspects of any car is how it functions. It has a lot of bearing on how consumers will feel about the vehicle and how much they want to buy it. That's why it's so important for an electric vehicle manufacturer like Rivian. Testing all hardware and software before implementing them in their vehicles is of primal importance. This process helps ensure that their vehicles are safe, functional, and aesthetically pleasing, which can help increase demand for them. CAD design software allows Rivian as well as other automakers create prototypes without waiting months or years to receive feedback from customers or reviewers. Additionally, after development, they need a platform on which to test these components and fine-tune them for optimal performance, quality, and safety. That is why Rivian developed what they call the lab car. It totally looks like something out of a Transformers movie. Hi, welcome to Volter Media, where we explore the exciting innovations in the EV industry. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding the bell to set your preferences to this channel. It really helps the channel out. This video is sponsored by T-Wraps Matte Screen Protector for the R1T and R1S displays. The T-Wraps Matte Screen Protector is a polyethylene terephthalate set of screen protectors custom made for the R1S and R1T displays. The set of three protectors is made to fit the center console display, the instrument cluster display, and the second row display. It can protect your R1 vehicle screen against scuffs and scratches. The matte surface prevents glare for comfortable use. It has a perfect fit, helps reduce fingerprints, and comes with an installation kit plus video instructions to help you install it without any expert help. Check it out now. Link in the video description. Rivian CEO RJ Scaringe, sometime back, showed behind-the-scenes development of the Rivian or One Electric Adventure vehicles. Though we have seen some production factories, this one seems different. Since then, they have released several well-received photos and videos showing more of their vision for the future of personal mobility. However, Rivian's lab car method of development is a game-changer. The lab car is a skeleton R1 platform vehicle and a skeleton ADV which contains all the car's electrical components, including modules, the electrical systems, the radar, the wiring, the economy experience module, and more. It's such a game-changer because it changes the way updates are made for a car. Take Toyota for example, they release an updated vehicle model once every few years. That means once initial development is completed, it is handed over to manufacturing, and then the team moves on to another project. They may only come back to the development board for that car for another update a few years later, or when there is an issue with the current technologies used in the car to produce a fix for a recall, for example. But that is the way of the legacy automaker. Rivian, on the other hand, with its lab car, does not stop development once the initial development is done. Once development is done and customer production starts, the design and development team continue working to improve the existing technologies in the vehicle. With time, they may come up with solutions that are cheaper to produce, more efficient, smaller, or lighter. Once these new technologies are developed, they are tested on the lab car to ensure it replaces its predecessor without any issues and improves production timelines by eliminating steps or a number of fittings or screws used in the production line to make it more efficient. The testing of these new technologies will help the design and development team to improve the overall efficiency of the vehicle, while also eliminating steps or the number of fitting or screws used in production. There are certainly many potential benefits to introducing new technologies in vehicles. For example, they may be cheaper to produce, more efficient, smaller or lighter, which can lead to shorter production timelines and improved customer satisfaction. However, there are also potential drawbacks to these new technologies. For example, they may not always be compatible with existing equipment or they may not be as durable. This means there are always constant updates for the car. Even as software updates are available a few times a year, so too are hardware updates for Rivian. The vehicles progressively improve as time progresses and new technologies are made to replace the old. It's very important for Rivian to test all hardware and software before implementing them in their vehicles. This process helps ensure that their cars are safe and functional. Additionally, testing the components on the lab car can help ensure that every component of the car is built with quality and safety in mind by minimizing time wasted on making development decisions. The lab car is how Rivian tests all the new hardware and software before making changes. As Rivian continuously updates the current R1 platform, there may be changes that will not be compatible with the current ports. As such, those are reserved for the R2 platform. Rivian seems to have worked a lot on the R2 platform and has a lot reserved for R2. It is exciting to see what is coming to the Rivian R2 platform. 
If you liked this video, hit the like button and send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.